Hello YouTube, this is Navo67 bringing you a Kingdom Hearts Play Arts Volume 2 review. This time I've got Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth. Um, I'm really excited to get this figure. Um, I've been looking at them online, and then my local Toys R Us just got in, uh, well, two out of the three figures in the line. Uh, we'll start with the box here, briefly. Um, it's a standard standard box here. It's got a clamshell packaging inside, so there's no twisty ties. It's just two layers of plastic to hold them in. And on the back, so here we have Sephiroth. They also have Halloween Town Sora and Kingdom Hearts Cloud Strife. Um, my local Toys R Us has, um, they had two Sephiroths and two Sora. Now they have one Sephiroth and two Sora. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing the Sora one. I'm focusing on trying to get a Cloud Strife over here. I'm hoping to get that and uh, bring that out for you guys. But anyways, um, here he is. The figure comes with the display base, which I have him on. Um, his Miramusa sword and alternate hand to hold the Miramusa sword. Um, but anyways, here it is. Um, highly, highly, highly detailed. Um, play arts um, d has incredible detail and I think outstanding articulation on their figures. Um, but anyways, here's the display dance. It's basic. Whatever, it's got two prongs to just connect at the waist. Let's move that out of the way for now. And bring the figure closer up. As you can see, it is the Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth. He's kind of got this young face. And interesting enough, he was played by Lance Bass from NSYNC in the first Kingdom Hearts g game. Second Kingdom Hearts game, he was played by um, a voice actor who's done every other incarnation. Uh, his little wing here is actually attached to a ball joint on the back. So it's super, super movable. You can kind of get in any position if you want it over here, straight up. You can angle it down if you want. I kind of like to have it straight up. Um, incredible head sculpt. His hair kind of comes into comes in this flowing style, um, which is more just so it can fit around the wing. That's my only real complaint about the figure anyways, is that the hair kind of... If you're looking from the side, it looks great. When you're looking at the side back or from the back, it kind of looks stupid. But it comes into this clear plastic. It starts so gray up here, comes more and more silver as it goes along, and then it becomes totally white and clear. Anyways, he's got the same kind of shoulders as the SH Figure Arts I've been reviewing recently. He's got, there's a ball joint inside and a ball joint shoulder, so he has this super rotated shoulder. And the armor are, and the armor's on two joints on the shoulder, so the armor never gets in the way. Uh, he's got a single jointed elbow, the wrist turns, the waist turns, you can get a little bit of angling on it, just enough to kind of bring him forward if you want. Um, anyways, he's got um, waist joint that allows him to go sideways, not too much, but allows him to really go out, go back. And then his knees are each single jointed, and he's got swivel ankles. Um, and even though um, all the joints are pretty much single joints, uh, minus the ball joints, um, he really is incredible articulation. You get him in pretty much the poses that you want to get him in. Now, as for the hand swapping, um, it's just a right hand, and all you do is you grab onto the figure and uh, apply a little bit of force to get it out, and a little bit of force to get it back in, and you hear a little pop noise when it does it, and that means it's in. Um, and then here's his super, super long Miramusa blade. And it's in there, and it is in there tight. Um, it takes a bit of effort to get it out. But anyways, he has it. And from there, you can pretty much just put him in any pose you feel like. Um, I like just the standing pose that he has. I mean, just when he comes out and stares at you in the first game, where he is almost impossible to beat. Um, it's a lot easier to beat in the second game. But anyways, there he is. And uh, the base is pretty strong. I was about to say, and it has adjustable height. For example, I can raise it up. And he will fall, but I mean, considering he's got the wing, it does. It looks right. Or you can just angle it down. I, simply, I like a simple pose for this figure. There it is. Um, Price-wise, he is $25. Um... Which might be out of range for some people, but I think it's totally worth the $25. I think you get everything that you should get out of the figure. Um, I would give the figure a 10 out of 10. I think it's absolutely perfect. He has all the possibility that you really would want. 
I mean, the only thing that really can improve it is maybe if you gave him double jointed knees and double jointed elbows. But that joint, um, you know, it's a single joint. It moves how you want it to move. I mean, his arms can cross each other. I think part of that too is because of the shoulder gives him um, great range of posability. So it's hard to argue with it. Um, I have a couple other Play Arts figures. I won't do reviews on them. I think they're too old. Um, meanwhile, this Kingdom Hearts line is, um, even though the Kingdom Hearts line itself is old, uh, Volume 2 is brand new. Um, that's why I can justify bringing it out here and doing it. But I say if you can find him, he is absolutely worth $25 to $30. Say $30 because if you try to find him on Amazon, um, or if you try to get him through ToysRUs.com, that's about how much it pays, how much it costs. Anyways, uh, go check out Toy Dude 101. Um, I will have a link to his channel in over here, and there also should be a link to his website over here. Anyways, this has been Navalis 7 and I'm signing out.